Okay, hello everybody and uh, welcome to Samson's Judo. It's a pleasure to have you all back joining us for another evening of nice judo. Um, unfortunately, this week we can't be live, so we've had to pre-record our program for you, which uh, continues from previous programs. You will see uh, similarities to what we've been doing because we're slowly building you up. So the idea is that you improve and get better, understand the movements that we're trying to do. So we hope you're gonna enjoy yourself. Um, today, we're gonna need an opponent today. and we're going to use our uki in, in the case of a, a, a broom or a piece of stick. It's very important that you have one of this. If you haven't got one, if you haven't seen us ask you to get one, then please go and get one right now because you're going to need it to do our uchikomi. Um, it's a very unique program. Uh, it's very traditional. A lot of people don't do it, but we're very excited to show you the moves. Uh, the fact that we're actually holding something, it gives you a sense of a different type of feeling. So to explain the exercises we're going to do today, I'll uh, hand you over to Samson. Uh, yeah, so this week we have 20 exercises. Each of them will be specific judo movements. So we're going to have no strength exercises this week. I'm sure some of you might be happy about that. Some of you might not be. But I promise that even though it's just going to be uh, Uchikomi related, you'll still get a good workout. And it will not only test you in terms of your cardio and your movement and agility, but it will also test you mentally. Um, so yeah, 20 exercises, working for one minute. Rest in for about 50 seconds and um, so it'll take us about 40 minutes to complete the program. Yeah, so it's quite a uh, you know intense program and if you want to continue when we finish to do some strength exercises, uh, there's nothing stopping you doing that. So uh, we we'll look forward to uh, starting in a minute. We do our formal bow and then we'll kick off. We hope everybody has warmed up, done your little bit of stretching. We rely and leave that to you. Um, just one small point. Uh, any any young children watching this, uh, just be careful with the points. What we don't want you to do is to hurt yourself in the eyes. So make sure you keep the top of the broom or the stick away from your eyes. We don't want you to injure yourselves. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, so we do a formal bow and then we'll, we'll start. So is that? Yoski, judoka. Ready? Anshi, right? Okay, all stand up. Grab your broom or your stick. My teacher always used to give me a lot of stick and I didn't realize what he meant by it was, it was a broom. So this is my uki. And the first thing we're gonna to do today is a nice warm up. We're gonna start off with uh, all sorts of gari. And the way it's done, put your broom down, make sure you hold it and push on the floor a little bit. The idea is you're gonna step in with your left Imagine this is uki, step with your left, your leg goes round, and the idea is that you actually lift the broom off the floor so your leg has contact with the stick, okay? So it's left, make sure it's in a straight line. You know your skills, don't leave far behind. Step forward and step in. You're gonna step out and it's left and right. This is the movement. We're gonna do 30 seconds on the left, 30 seconds on the right. Okay, are you ready? Get ready, hold it with your right hand and attack with your right foot. And Hajim, begin, okay? Step. Nice rhythm. The idea is that you have contact with your leg. When you sweep, the sweep has to be faster, faster than the step. So it's left, right, okay? Keep going. Stepping. Good. You create the new rhythm, you Halfway create the speed. There. Okay, change sides, left side, so it's now it's right and left. Step, hook. Control the broom. Step, you have something to aim for. Hook. Control it. Keep going, eight seconds left. Four. Three. Rest. Very good. Okay, okay that's then, a nice warm up. The next one we're going to do, we're working on Oso Tigari, but we're going to skip into it. We've all been doing the skip these last few weeks, which is just skipping in here, just driving forwards. Then what we're going to do is finish it <clears throat> with an Oso Tigari. So skip into the Oso Tigari. Skip Oso Tigari. This is used to fill in a bit of space. Maybe your opponent's slightly far away. You need to step in, but you need to do it quickly. So you skip it in. To the Osei Tigari. 30 seconds on one side, 30 seconds on the other side. Don't hold the broom too close. 
hold it slightly away so we can implement the skipping okay exactly so you've got 10 seconds so just get ready remember we're just skipping and finishing the iso to go making sure to lift it up each time so ready three two, two one, one go. Jimmy. it's going to be sudden as well this is also a good way to maybe disorientate your opponent make them twitch kind of a bit like a faint Just skipping in, straight into it. You could do a kind of a double skip here, then step, okay. or you could skip right into it. Halfway there, there. so half, so change to the left side. So you can do a direct jump, like so, or a little half step into the skip. The further you hold the broad weight, the bigger the skip. Maybe there, 10 seconds left. Five, three, two, two one. one, rest. Very nice. Okay, our next technique, we've all been working on the twitch last few weeks. We're gonna do exactly the same thing. Little twitch to the right and then attack. So, so we get a reaction from our opponent here. Right twitch, right attack. Okay, and when we do left side, left titch, left attack. And the idea is that you're getting a reaction. So it can't be a fast twitch and a slow attack. It has to be a fast twitch and even faster attack. Because what I'm doing is getting a reaction. Again, don't hold the broom too close. You need to be able to reach in. So get ready. Right hand first. Three, two, one. one. Go. Twitch. It's going to be quite explosive, but at the same time, understand what we're trying to do. Very good movement, very good reaction. This is good for speed training. Very important that we link strategy in judo there. left side let's begin so now use it left twitch left attack good and don't forget about your hands as you imagine you hold somebody in. nice and really feel that that broom connecting to my leg which we could hit me let me take grabbing someone's leg three, three two, two one rest i love that one okay next one what we're going to do we're going to, we're going to stand side onto the broom and put it slightly far away and the goal is we're going to reach across and, and then hop 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 into it so we're going to have the broom far away Let's side show. on so if i'm here oh yeah okay drop the broom here yeah. from here we're going to kind of jump here and hop 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 and so we're fighting someone who's uh, positioned on the other side. So with the broom, I'm going to hop, and then step, 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 and hop into it. We're trying to close the space and create the oso to go. All right, get ready. You should all be getting used to these exercises now. So if you go slightly forward, I'm going to crash Three, two, I can't see you. one, go. Okay, I'm going to do this way as well. Okay. Don't forget the little hop is important. You can't throw someone from a distance, so you need to hop, 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 and then and then throw them. So add the little skipping. You're sideways, you need to cover distance, hop and throw. Halfway, That's what you're halfway there. So change, come inside. There we go. So here, grab the left, step, hop, hop, hop. And good. Oh. Close the distance. So we're gonna step and then hop, hop, hop. Very good. Close the distance. Okay. That's nice. Okay. Everything is practice. Everything is understanding. Three. Technique. Two. And one, coordination. Rest. Well done. And that's good. Okay, next one. 
gonna do now, we've all done the little twitch, which is stepping here. We're okay. gonna do the same thing again. You're gonna just turn and attack, okay? A little twitch again, feeding Wookie round and attacking. So, what I'm doing from here, it's okay, it's moving and attacking. Again, here and attack. That's the movement we want. Okay. Again, here, pull hooky, and then attack. So that's what we're trying to mimic. So, get ready. Three, Use your broom. two, one, go. Skip, change direction, and attack. So 30 seconds right, 30 seconds left. Good. Twitch, turn direction, and throw. So from facing here, you need to change direction to here, and then attack Uki or Soto. So that's what we're trying to do. Keep going. Nice. Keep going. Halfway there. Good. Turn now side. change. Exactly the same thing. So turn and attack. Good. Make sure you connect with that broom. Oh, too much leverage. Very good. Keep going. Three, two, one, rest. Right, nice good. It's always good to over exaggerate the movement so you get maximum feeling and motion. So the next one we're gonna do, we're gonna Diashi Barai into an Oso Tagari. So what we'll do, if I'm doing a right-handed Oso Tagari, what I want to do with my left leg, I want to tap for a Diashi and then hop into an Oso Tagari. So I'm tapping and hopping. What I'm imagining is I'm knocking my opponent's legs together and then sweeping them for the Oso Tagari. So for example, if I'm fighting my opponent here, wait, just stay still. I'm knocking the legs together. So knock them together, knock them together. There. So then I can sweep and catch maybe both of them to make it more powerful. So together, bring your legs together. Together and sweep. So everyone get ready. 30 seconds one side, 30 seconds the other. And Hajumi. So you're gonna have to hop from your leg being close. You have to bring it out quickly and quickly shoot your right leg through to create the throw. If you do it slow by stopping and stepping, chances are your opponent's gonna uh, open their legs back up again. <laughs> I just lost my broom. <laughs> so you defeated the object of the setup. I swept it away. Halfway there. So change over. So now you want to sweep with your right and step in with your left. Sweep with your right, step in with your left. Everything we're doing, mimics, actually connects with judo. I'm gonna get hit in the face. <laughs> yeah, sure. Three, one two, more. one, rest. Nice. And rest. Very good. Okay. Next one I'm gonna do, keep the broom down. We're gonna step in tight toshi, right and left and right. The idea is to get your shin close to the stick. There mustn't be a gap. So you're gonna step in, and the stick or the broom. Should actually lift Step back off the mat. So here and throw. Okay, if the broom stays on the mat or your floor, you haven't got the kick in properly. Right there, right there, right there. So we're gonna do right, we're gonna go right, left, right. Left side, change grip, left, right, left. Okay, everybody, now get ready. Three, two, Taitoshi. one, go. How do you mean? Don't forget about your hands as well. As you're changing from attacking right side, so when I'm attacking right-handed, my right hand's holding the broom. When I'm attacking left-handed, my left hand's holding the broom. So if you try and hold on the one side, you might get yourself tied up, which is uncomfortable. So remember to change hands as well as uh, what side you're attacking on. Good. Halfway there. Halfway, so another 30 seconds. 
really turn in, kick your leg. Just under 10 seconds left. Keep going, keep moving. Three, two, one, rest. All right, it's good. Okay, next one, what we're gonna do is a pivot into Taitoshi. So this time, rather than going one, two, three, what we're gonna do with my left foot, my left foot's gonna come across. So it's one step, bring my knee up, pivot round, and two into the Taitoshi. So it's left comes across, up, round, into the Taitoshi. If it was the other way around, my right leg would come across, up, round, into the Taitoshi. Very complex technical technique. It represents Hashiguruma and Oguruma as well. If you remember from the exercises, we were working on stepping across here last week. It's the same movement, but this time finishing with the Taitoshi. So everybody get Three, ready. Three, two, one, go. So start on the right and change over and go to the left. And then go back to the right. They're working right, left, right, left. Don't worry about speed, focus on getting the technique right. If you're on carpet, it might be hard to actually pivot. So it's just okay if you do almost like a little hop round. When you're back on the tatami, the pivot will come nice and easy. There's another extra friction on the carpet right now. Halfway there. Okay, change sides. So step opposite. We're going left and right the whole time. Oh, sorry. So you listen to what I say. <laughs> sorry, my mistake. <laughs> what a bad student, guys. Great. Three, two, one, rest. That's very good for coordination. Pivoting. Look, Moji. Okay, next one we're going to do. Use your broom down. We're going to step right and left. Watch how we're doing Uchimata. Lift the leg as high as you can, draw it up. Now this could be relevant to Uchimata, Hanigoshi, Haragoshi. So what we want you to do is to connect, your leg should be on your hip, the wood here, not away from you. When you turn in, feet your hip to the wood, come up, take the leg as high as you can. So we have Uchimata. So we do this 30 seconds on the right, 30 seconds on the left. Get your head nice and low. Three. We are aiming for two, One. You ready? Go. Begin. And don't forget your hands as well. Pull. Lift up and try and hold it for a fraction of a second. Up and down. So you're showing control. In my case, I lost control. <laughs> so on the set. Up. Good. Good. You're okay to bounce, step in, good, and, Halfway there. and change, left side, so it's left, right, left, get your leg as high as you can, and connect with this piece of stick. The most important thing is really drawing that hip to the, uh, to the broom, to the stick, because that's what you want when you want to lift someone up, and bring them onto the Uchimata. Three, nice. two, one, rest. It's amazing that a little bit of stick could make connection with your judo. Okay, so very similar now to what we're doing with the Taitoshi using that over movement. What we're going to actually do, we're going to come in for the Uchimata, but we're going to kind of hop up, we're going to hop up here, and then on the second hop, down into the Uchimata. So it's going to be up, down. So it's going to be up, down there. So this is what it looks like on the body. Whoop. Here. So it's okay here. And that's what I'm looking for. Here. Okay, that's the movement we need to mimic. Okay. Get your stick there. Get ready. Three, two, two one. Little hop. Go. And sweep up. There. Up. Hop with the opposite leg. 
seconds. Three pop. Be 30 seconds one side, 30 seconds the other. So you oh. get into the movement. Doesn't matter if you put your hand on the floor, because it is a committed technique. We all know that usually when you execute a chimata, you will normally roll over. So it's fine, as Samson said. Put your hand on the floor. The idea is to roll. get your leg as high as you can. Hop. So you're really halfway there. In and changing the groin. Okay, change sides. Again. Oh, sorry. Thanks. Good. Little hop and sweep. Hop. Hop. Exaggerate the movement. Hop. This is how the week we develop the practice. Three, two, one more. One. Hop. Rest. Okay. Nice. No, I see. Okay. All right. Very similar again. Put your stick down. Now, Hanigoshi is the next one, which is spring hip. And that day you step in. Instead of doing too much of your leg straight, you point your knee to one side and you may connect with the wood. So your knee has to point out. This is a uchimata in a thigh. Wait, no, that's no, it's not. It's Hanigoshi. Hanigoshi, sorry. <laughs> Hanigoshi in a thigh. No, Hanigoshi spring hip. Hanigoshi spring hip, sorry. It's hot in here, don't worry. It's very warm. Okay, so it's right, left, point your knee. Uchimata, right, left. Point your knee. Handy question, spring hip. I got your mat on the brain. <laughs> so we do that right side. Three. And two, then left side. One. Right left, right left. Or right, right side first. Okay. Begin. Get the movement. Point your knee away. You notice my knee point, points away. Not straight away. So you need to be in this position. Okay. Handy question. Point your toes to the floor and scoop. Imagine you're scooping someone's thigh, leg, knee, shin, Half different variations. There. Change side. Okay, change. Halfway. Begin. Ooh. Turn right the way around. Nice balance. Keep going. Everything is about detail and accuracy. Doesn't matter if you miss. Now and then, it's quite a skinny piece of wood to catch, but someone's Three, leg two, will be much one, thicker. Rest. Good. Whoa. Are you doing side step into Hanigoshi? Well, Very good. Okay. Next one I'm going to do. Same thing again. Hold your stick on your opponent. We're going to do a little step. Step in. Hanigoshi left side. Step. The foot goes round and catch. You've all done this movement before. Catch. If you remember last week, we were working on the footwork exercise where we're coming here and then we're doing a back step round and turning. So it's the same movement, just finishing with the hand you got to. Okay. Right. So start with the right. Just going to slide just a couple of steps, step round and forward. Very similar to hand you but you use your knee for hand Three, hand two, Ready? one. Go. And go. Push. Push. Well, we'll kill each other. Change. Room. And your still the leg. Still hit me. This wood is what you're aiming to catch. Just point your knee outwards. Catch. And turn. Point your knee. Push. As long as your knee is pointed out, then it becomes honey cushion. Halfway there. Keep going. Try and get it right. Move. Missed that one. Keep going. Yeah, just, just about 15 seconds left, guys. That's it. It's about the turn. It's about the movement, which counts. Good. And you find five seconds. You get good balance. Three, two, if you do. one. Enough of this practice. Well done. Nice. So we're going to do the exact same thing now, but we're going to do a side step into an uchimata. So we're going to move to the side here. Then we're going to step in, draw the draw the stick to your hips. Then lift up to the uchimata or harigoshi. Very hard to distinguish, considering this has got only one leg. Um, then coming out the other side, back step, draw, then into the uchimata. So just right and left. This time round, uchimata. 
Okay. That's yeah. it. Yeah, just just make sure when you're doing it, as I said, as you're stepping, you want, when you step in, you really want to draw that here. Imagine this is someone's hip. You want to draw them right onto the hip so you can actually lift them up into the uchimata. Don't make the mistake of attacking far away like here. Yeah, that's wrong. Because you will find it very, very hard to do a traditional uchimata. The detail we're looking around. for is Three, hip to leg. Three, two, okay. one, go. Thank you very much. Left, turn in. Uchimata. There we go. And if we go left side, backwards here. You're in the camera. And then there. Go, yeah. go over there. <laughs> I'm not the way. He's in my way, guys, today. It's not making it easy. Round. Then would you matter? I feel like a shepherd. Then round. Nice. Bend forward. Round. Here. And then. If you do enough, you will get good rhythm for this. It's very nice. You should actually find that. Although, Halfway we've been working there. on a shadow, which you call me, but adding a very simple element like a broom actually challenges you much more because you actually have to be accurate in order to hit the broom. Normally, you might get away with missing the technique because there's actually no target. But by adding this little target, as silly as it may be, a broom or a stick, trust me, it is much harder to execute the techniques properly. And then once you do that, three, two, you an opponent, one, and it'll be rest. easy. I like that one a lot. I like all the exercises which are very relevant to everything we do in judo. Okay, next one we're going to do a, a, a taitoshi. Side step. Sorry? Side step. Yeah, side step toshi. So we're going to bring this element into again, which is stepping here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, sorry, my mistake. <laughs> I'm jumping techniques. Okay, same thing as uh, Uchimata and Hanikoshi. We're going to move along across here and step into Tai Toshi. Move around and turn into Tai Toshi. Exactly the same thing. And remember, what we're looking for is getting my shin next to this technique here and hitting the wood back. So it's exactly what you've just been doing. Keep the stick or arm's length, move it, step, make sure you've got good distance. Okay, Three, get ready. Two, yours. one, okay. go. Move, keep the stick away from you, and attack. Make sure the stick is not too close to you because you really need to extend your tight torsion. Okay. And you can do it as fast as you can. The turn is up to you. Okay, you can't do it as fast. I can't do it too fast because I'm I'm considered an old man. I'm not very good at this. Keep it going. Keep going. A couple of steps and the throw can't happen till you step around. Nice. Good. Really nice and dynamic. You can make it as dynamic as you want. It's slow and technical, but if you've got the technique down, build up the speed, build up the power. One more. Three, two, one. Beautiful. Rest. Nice. Yeah, I like Taitoshi. Why do you do that? Now you can see the one you wanted to do. <laughs> Same again on Taitoshi. I'm going to turn from here. I'm going to do a step, change direction, and attack. So we're doing this again. Nice cross step here. Seppuki, attack Tatoshi. Okay, change direction, attack. So that's what we're looking for. You go, that's my broom. You can see there. Okay. So, get ready. Remember, it's that nice cross step, there. bringing the knee in front. No, we can both do it at the same time okay. this one, I reckon. Everyone okay, get ready. ready. Nice cross step at the front. Step forward. Bring round. Three, two, two one. Go. Step. Tatoshi. Okay. Step into. And then pull key into Tatoshi. And you can work on these at your own pace. It's not always about speed, it's about continuity, feeling, and connecting with your technique. There. Halfway, should we change the left? Yes, please. Cool. Yeah. Good. Robert, you're pulling Uki over. 
turn it around. Three, two, you're attacking again. One, rest. Nice. Okay. Next one, <clears throat> nice and light. <laughs> Work on an Ochigari. So I'm gonna step in right, left leg comes here, and then round for the Ochigari. <clears throat> Making sure to get that gaggy and actually lift the room up as you turn in. So right, left, right, change hands. Now my left leg's forward, left, right, left. Change, right, left, right. Just swap left hands in. while you're doing this from the right. And try and lift it up. To the left. And up each time. Hold the broom with your right hand, attack with your right leg. Hold the broom with your left hand, attack with your left leg. And use the stick to make contact. Three, oh, two, one, go. And on, Jimmy. You should be used to this Ochigari motion. We've been doing it week after week. But now, this week, week number five, we're bringing in a little bit of target practice. If this is your first time watching one of our videos, these online home judo workout videos, click into our channel and we've got another four weeks, all about 30 to 40 minute home workouts for judo, working on your skill, Halfway there. strength, agility, and also technical understanding of judo that can kind of keep you going during this lockdown time. And we'll keep doing this every Wednesday, 6.30 p.m. UK time, normally live, except for this week, until we can actually go back to Tatami and do it for real. So, about five seconds left, keep it going. Three, two, one, rest. And that's it. Very good. That's so good. Okay, using the stick again. We did the Uchigari. Now we're gonna use the outside leg. Just come in, go around the leg, hook it, and push in for Kochigaki. So it's right, left, and catch. Change, left, right, and catch. You're catching the, the stick, and you wanna push it towards you backwards. So this is called Kochigaki. One, two. Okay, don't step too far away. You won't be able to reach. Step right next to the stick, that when you catch, you can bring the stick right between you. Here, you need that gap to push. That's where you're taking the leg. Two, Get ready. One, right, and left and left. right and left. Cool. Begin, right. Push. My brain stopped. <laughs> push. Close here. Push. Make sure you leave the gap to be able to sweep. Push up. I missed. Yeah, it's quite, quite tricky. That's why I say judo is not just physical, it's mental in many ways. It's also halfway there. learning coordination. So you work as hard as you want. Good. Nice round hook. Yeah, nice circuit action hook. Take it between your legs. Push and sudden bending forward. Push. Because you're taking uki backwards. Okay, here. Three, two, one. One. Rest. I kind of feel like a witch. Kind of land like that. <laughs> but yeah. It is, a, it is like a witch because we're doing our magic. Yeah. As always. <laughs> nice. Okay, next one. Next magic trick we're going to do is a kochigari. So before we were doing. Ochigari here, and then we were doing a Kojigaki. This time, Kojigari. Turn the broom upside down. Yeah, actually, that's a good point. Turn the broom upside down to make it easier to actually get the contact. If I come here, I tap my right, and my left comes in. I'm going to leave space in front of me, so when I sweep, the broom comes in front. That's someone's leg coming in front of me. I don't want to stop here because I block the technique. So step slightly to the side, round, and sweep. When I do it, I turn my foot to the side. So the bottom of my foot is facing over there. Three, and create contact two, and sweep. One, Do right, left, go. right, left, right, left. Hey, Jimmy. Remember to change hands when you change what side you're doing it on. And that's everything we've been doing. Make sure you're actually knocking the broom up and out. Remember, turn your foot to the side. You don't want to hit your ankle. That's wrong and it's also a little bit painful. You want to be able to hit on the side and actually scoop 
the leg. If you imagine this little groove here actually fits perfectly around the back of someone's ankle. There. That's your target to cup it and take it away. Nice and consistent. Okay, hands involved as well if you want. Imagine that pull on the sleeve. Two, one, rest. And Mate. Okay, really. nearly there. Second to last one now. The Ashi Roy, over to you, Sensei. Ashi, sweep, sweep sideways. So we're, before we went behind here, now we're catching the foot sideways. Don't go high. Very important you step in, turn your side. Now to make this work, push down a bit with a stick. So there's a bit of resistance. If you don't move it, the sweep hasn't been strong enough. So my aim is to step and move. Lean back, extend your hips and push. You're right. Change Three, hands. Two, Push. One, okay, get ready. Go. And begin. Right, left. Remember to lean back and sweep with elegance and movement. Kuri Ashi Harai. Or Kuri Ashi Parai. Or Diashi. Or Diashi. Depends how they step. Same movement. Remember to push. Turn your foot sideways. And you use your hands as well for Kuzushi. Push. Halfway there. All this aerobic movement is body development and fundamental for judo. Push. Good. Keep going. 20 seconds left. It's important to also enjoy what you're doing. That's half the battle. Don't do it Three, two, because you have to. One, rest. Do things because you want to. Makes okay. a big difference. Last one. What we're going to do, the last exercise in this routine, we're going to do a little skip into a Haro Suri So what we're going to do is we're going to bring my right leg up in the same way we were jumping into the Oso Tagari or jumping into the side of the Oso Tagari. Do the same jump but forwards. So I'm going to jump, but as I land, I want to skip up and hit the foot as if I'm pushing my opponent backwards for a Harai Sasa, for a Harai Suri Komiyashi. It's a tongue twister. Harai Sasa Suri Komiyashi. So that's what he's trying to say. <laughs> I'm trying, it's not going very well. So jump up, sweep back. Remember, hit your foot, turn your foot to the side and drive your hips down Three, and two, up and lean backwards. One, right, go. left, right, left, right, left. Hi Jimmy. Nice little skip. Create that drive motion into the opponent. If your broom doesn't sound like mine, <laughs> you're doing it wrong. Make that contact, create that drive, and turn around. Look if behind you keep you. your stick slightly further away from you, you'll have a bigger reach. The closer the stick is, the less the reach. Push, arch, imagine you're doing a Ronagi. Arch, push, push. Okay. As long as these exercises are consistent, you do feel the benefit. What we find in a lot in judo today is people do a minute, stop, have a drink, have a chat. No judo is really consistent. Well See. done. Mate. Mate. That's very nice. That's it. Are we done? We're done. 20. Okay, all those techniques are very technical. Okay, this is just a guide. Forget about it's a broom or a stick. It's a target. You can't do target practice without a target. We can do shadow shaft uh, techniques without an opponent. We can use sticks to, okay, to give us feeling and sensation and also accuracy. These techniques, again, I stress, are fundamental in everything that we're doing. And they're linked every week. We don't want to jump to different things because we want you to learn, we want you to develop. Uh, 
This is my cat. She's back. Huh? She's back. Uh, this week, I'm glad to say she's been graded to first dan. Yeah. So we're very happy. Sasha's the first judo cat been graded to first dan. <laughs> she's really, really good. She loves judo, actually. Uh, I'll just show you. Here we go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> yeah, she's a good cat. Okay, she likes to fight back as well. Uh, we well, hope you've enjoyed this. Order. No, you're not going out there. Uh, we apologize it hasn't been able to be live, but the more important thing is we're here. We're still connecting with you. We're still guiding you. We hope you enjoy it. Uh, please share as always, let people know what we're doing. Stay safe, which is very, very important. And uh, we look forward to seeing you every week to keep teaching you which is, and training you. And remember, the judo doesn't end here. Go away and practice in your own time, your own space. I don't know if Sam wants to say anything. No, um, as always, um, you know, if you haven't already, please do subscribe. It really helps us out. Or, you know, if you want to talk to us, if you want to open a conversation, we're always there for you. Just send us a message, leave a comment, and we'll, we'll chat to you. If you have any concerns, any queries, any technical help, you know, we'll, we'll do our best to answer you as best as we can. But more than anything, treat this channel as not just us talking to you, but treat us as a community. Treat it as a space where people can come together week after week, talk in the comments. You know, there's so many people around the world all going through the same thing. If you're concerned about something, you can leave a comment. Someone else will respond, maybe not us, maybe someone in Poland or Japan or something. And like I said, it's a community. We're all in this together. We're all struggling at the moment with the whole lockdown situation. But the main thing is we're doing something. We're not doing nothing. Yeah. And as I said, treat our comments as a community. Talk to each other, reach out to one another. And, you know, we're here for each other, basically. Yeah. And remember, judo doesn't belong to anybody. It belongs to all of us. So we're here to share. We will share the same, uh, uh, you know, challenges. So, hope you've enjoyed that. We'll finish off. Thank you very much for your company. <sighs> Says up. Yoski, judoka, right? Thank you.